are these people? Here's my story. Um, we're going to talk about another Gitmo. We talked about the normal Gitmo before, you know, Guantanamo Bay over there in Cuba, right? Where we decided to bring terrorists and torture them under, you know, our surveillance, um, as well as Abu Ghraib. But that was the sec, that was the other time we did it. And look, just don't worry about it. We got all the information we wanted. Okay. Um, so. This is from Brett Wilkins over at Common Dreams and Consortium has been, you know, resharing his stuff recently. And um, he writes, an Israeli doctor blows whistle on war crimes. An anonymous physician in a letter viewed by Haaretz has warned Israeli officials about what's going on at a field hospital inside a notorious detention center. Now, I know this Haaretz article was a while ago, like January 6th. And... So we're we're picking this up April fifth. It's been making new rounds. So, but he writes a doctor at an Israeli field hospital inside a notorious detention center where hundreds of Palestinian prisoners are temporarily held is sounding the alarm about torture and horrific conditions and what some human rights defenders, including Israelis, are calling Israel's Guantanamo Bay and even a concentration camp. In a letter to Israel's Attorney General and Defense and Health Ministers viewed by Haaretz, which reported the story Thursday, the anonymous physician described likely war crimes being committed at the IDF's Said Tamines base. I hope that's how you pronounce that. Tamines? I'm sure I'm butchering that. Uh, near sure. Beersheba. Palestinian mil militants captured by IDF troops, as well as many civilian hostages ranging, ranging in age from teenagers to septuagenarians are held there in cages, 70 to 100 per cage, until they are transferred to regular Israeli prisons or released. So I brought this video from Al Jazeera kind of documenting some of this, um, just in general incarceration. So we'll, we'll check that out. A number of Palestinian detainees have been released from uh, the Israeli detention. They have been transferred to the Gaza Strip throughout Karm Abu Salem crossing border. As we have been talking to a number of detainees, they have been reporting about really distressing and inhuman conditions they have been going through in their detention. They have been completely deprived from having pure access to food, water, and even they have been all the time beaten by the Israeli soldiers and have receiving different signs of torture. As you can clearly see right now here on the elderly man that had been arrested by the Israeli forces in a Nasser hospital. The Israeli soldiers stormed Nasser hospital in Khan Yunus where I was treated for a broken leg. The Israelis rounded up all patients and the injured into one section. The following day, some were transferred to Mubarak hospital while the rest of us, me included, were detained and loaded onto trucks and taken to another location. We were strip searched and tortured. We were beaten all the way. The unknown location I was in had more than 2,000 Palestinian civilian detainees. We were handcuffed and blindfolded around the clock. We were subject to interrogation under torture, all forms of torture you can imagine, including use of frantic dogs. We were crammed into cells with no cover and only one meal a day. Many of the detainees died under torture. Many of the detainees have chronic disease. Others with severe injuries were treated without mercy. The detainees are going through hell. Enough is enough. They have been reporting about inhuman violations that had been taken by the Israeli military in the detention as more number of Palestinian people and even being detained in Israeli jails and some of them have been taken to undisclosed location till now. Any questions? None. <laughs> so when people are screaming about hostages, what about these? What about these hostages right. that are... Right, and that right, that's exactly what I've been saying. Under it's like, and I, I had some, I, I've had some Zionists say, Oh, Israel doesn't have any hostages. Bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> so, this was what thousands, two thousands people he talked about, like, right, that were tortured with what he said, literally any torture you could imagine, I think is what that guy said, right? Like, including frantic dogs. So they had dogs sicked on people. Like, that's... And you wonder where U.S. police officers get their ideas. 
Um, right. But anyway, not to not to get too distracted. Um, so we continue from the first days of the medical facility's operation until today. I have faced serious ethical dilemmas. That's this doctor writing. More than that, I am writing to warn you that the facility's operations do not comply with a single section among those dealing with health in the inter internment of unlawful combatants' law. So we'll get into that in a second. Um, that is what they're using to kind of convict a lot of these people, right? Um, they're just calling them combatants, because why wouldn't they? Um, Gazans arrested and detained by Israeli forces are not legally considered prisoners of war by Israel because it does not, not recognize Gaza as a state. So you don't even get POW protections. Right? So these detainees are mostly held under the internment of unlawful combatants law, which allows the imprisonment of anyone suspected of taking part in hostilities against Israel for up to 75 days without seeing a judge. Human Rights Watch has warned the law strips away meaningful judicial review and due process rights. That's an extreme understatement. Um, said Taman, detainees are fed through straws and forced to defecate in diapers. They're also forced to sleep with the lights on and have allegedly been subjected to beatings and torture. Allegedly. Allegedly. Other Palestinians taken by Israeli forces have described being electrocuted, mauled by dogs, soaked with cold water, denied food and water, deprived of sleep, and blasted with loud music at temporary detention sites. The whistleblowing Sid Taman physician said that all patients at the Camp Field Hospital are, get this, Colin, handcuffed by all four limbs, regardless of how dangerous they are deemed. In December, Israeli health ministry officials ordered such treatment after a medical worker at the facility was attacked. Now the camps estimated 600 to 800 prisoners are shackled 24 hours a day. So. What does that look like to you, Care Bear? You just saw that picture by itself. Does it lock, not look like what you're accustomed to seeing in Germany in about 19, you know, 1930s, right. 1940s, right. like that, that zone? Right. Okay. Right. Little, little striped pajamas going on that, that doesn't, okay. You know. Uh, <laughs> that just looks like a cage to me. That's look looks like what you keep. In, yes, animals. In. That's Worse. what it looks like to me. You treat animals better than that. Insolo Ahmed. This looks like some sort of camp. That's <laughs> that's what he's saying. I kind of agree with him. That looks exactly like concentration camp to me. Right? Like you wouldn't need all that barbed wire for cows. You know, you would just have a fence and be done with it. You know. Anyway, so <clears throat> this is this is the this is the big shitty part of this. So at first, the cuffs were plastic zip ties. Now they're metal. The doctor said that more than half of his patients at the camp have suffered cuffing injuries, including some that had required repeated surgical intervention. Uh. Just this week, two prisoners had their legs amputated due to handcuff injuries, which unfor unfortunately is a routine event, the doctor told Harris. Routine event, Tom. What is routine to him? Like, how many people are getting their limbs amputated from handcuffs being too tight? And on 24 hours a day. Right. So, the whistleblower also alleged substandard medical care at the facility where there's only one doctor on duty who's sometimes a gynecolog gynecologist or orthopedist. So, that's what you get. Ho hopefully those are useful to you. Um, so, 
Right, even CNN had to cover this, Colin. Israeli doctor says detained Palestinians are undergoing routine amputations for handcuffed injuries. And look, fee at when? January 6th. Right. Haaretz article Not reveals... Not January 6th. <laughs> uh, the, well, yes, the one this year. Um, right. Said some on prison where Israeli detainees, thousands of prisoners from Gaza who are sleeping without any winter clothes. Prisoners are constantly blindfolded, subjected to physical torture, often handcuffed to the fence. So I wanted to find this article. It was difficult. It got like 404 and 405 and 403. And I had to like switch browsers and refresh and put in my email. And finally it let me find it. So this is from Hagar Shazaf over on Haaretz. Commitment. Yes. <laughs> There are currently at least 661 residents of the Gaza Strip being held in Israeli prisons. 150% increase on the 260 that were being held last month. The current figure does not include Gazans held in detention at the Sid Taiman military base. Detainees in Sid Taiman are held there until the army decides where they should be imprisoned in Israel or returned to the Gaza Strip. The number of detainees being held at Sid Taiman is not known to the public, the source told Haaretz, that they are exposed to violence and punishment that soldiers carry out at their own volition. These acts include beatings and handcuffing detainees to the fence or with their hands above their heads. The male detainees were initially held at Sid Paiman, with the women detainees held at Anatot. Some of the detainees on the detention centers and prisons were captured in Israel on the 7th of October, and others were detained during the war in Gaza and brought to Israel. Soldiers serving as said to one punish the Palestinians if they move or talk, according to the source. Punishments include having the detainees stand with their heads cuffed above their heads, trying their hands to the fence, tightening the cuffs, or cuffing hands behind their back. The detainees are held constantly blindfolded and cuffed with plastic ties. They sleep on thin mattresses similar to yoga mats with rough wool blankets that have no replacement and have no replacement clothes. The source added that one soldier beat a Palestinian who tried to peek out from beneath the blindfold. He says that the general climate at the facilities permits abuse of detainees. Testimonies by Palestinians and sources exposed to what is happening in the facility state that some of the detainees' injuries are infected, some of the wounds were caused during the war, but others were caused at the detention facility. Most of the banded detainees were sent back to what the soldier called cages, the places where dozens are held and where they sleep, and are not hospitalized at the base's military clinic. So, I also wanted to point out this also, they were talking about the female detainees. There's definitely been stories of them being sexually assaulted multiple times at these facilities. So, and so much so that I think Israel has had to admit that that's happened. Right? right. So, you know, in case you want to come yell at me over that. But, you know, this is, this is all... I, uh, why are these why are these detainees and not hostages? Riddle me that. You know? Right. And so, this is what Hamas this is what Hamas is advocating right. for. This is why and you can call it hard headed. I call it standing yeah. up and you know, we call you know, we call it shoot high in terms of negotiation. Like you don't go you don't compromise on something that you want. Yeah. Like they want all of them out. Yeah. This is what they're advocating for. And this is the stalemate that they've had since the beginning of the war. You know, they want them out. Yeah. And Israel's like, kick Ross. So back to this Brett Wilkins article. Uh, so he writes this end in complications and sometimes even in the patient's death, doctor said this makes all of us, the medical teams, and you, those in charge of us in the health and defense ministries complicit in the violation of Israeli law, and perhaps worse for me as a doctor, in the violation of my basic commitment to patients, wherever they are, as I swore when I graduated 20 years ago. Do the no doc- harm. Yes, a big one. Um, the doctor claims in his letter that he warned the health ministry's director, not, not the hypocritical, Colin, that the hypocritical, but being very very clear there. Um, the doctor claims in his letter that he warned the health ministry's director general about the appalling conditions 
at said Taiman, but that there have been no substantial changes in the way the facility operates. As ethics committees visited the camp in February, the physician said that its members are worried about their legal exposure and coverage in view of their involvement in a facility that is operated contrary to the provisions of existing law. That legally is sufficient for you? That they don't want to be... Please don't out us. That's what that is. <coughs> right. Right? So, last month, Peretz revealed that 27 detainees have died in custody at the set time on and Anaton camps during interrogation in Israel since October 7th. While some were Hamas, or other militants captured or wounded while fighting IDF troops, others were civilians, including some with pre-existing health conditions like the diabetic laborer, who was not suspected of any offense when he was arrested and sent to his death in Anatol. One former Sid Taman detainee claims that he personally witnessed Israeli troops execute five prisoners in separate incidents. Responding to the 27 DTD deaths and invoking the U.S. military prison in Cuba known for torture and indefinite detention, the Haaretz editorial board wrote last month that Sid Taman and the other detention facilities are not Guantanamo Bay, and the state has a duty to protect the rights of detainees, even if they are not formally prisons of war. This sounds worse than Gitmo. Yeah. Way worse. Like, Israel's indifference to the fate of which still is, exists and is operating, by the way. Just wanted to keep that in mind. Like, that didn't go away. Gitmo's still around. So... Israel's indifference to the fate of Gazans at best and desire for revenge against them at worst are fertile ground for war crimes, the editor said. Indifference by Israelis and desire for revenge must not constitute license to shed the blood of detainees. The fact that Hamas is holding and abusing Israeli hostages cannot excuse or justify the abuse of Palestinian detainees. In December, the Geneva-based advocacy group Euro Mediterranean Human Rights Monitor, which has also accused IDF troops of allowing Israeli civilians to witness the torture of Palestinian prisoners, demanded an investigation of what it called the new Guantanamo. Israeli rights groups and individuals have also condemned the abuses of said Taiman, which, like Guantanamo, has been described as a concentration camp. Enough, just enough, we have to stop this gallop into the abyss, urged Hebrew University senior lecturer Tamar Megiddo on Wednesday. This war has to end. This government needs to end. What does that sound like, Colin? Who is he blaming? BB. Yep. So, go check out our Not blame. The ideology that is a cause. Blame it on the BB, because it's just got to be one guy that's the problem, right? One administration right. is the only issue. For systemic issue, it's systemic. Okay. Um, but that's it. Thoughts? Musings? As you said, this is... Well, well, I'll say this. Once you clip it, folks, anyone who says that Israel does not have hostages... Send them, send them this. Send them this. You know. Or yeah. call the Haaretz article that article. you were able to pull and send it to the Zionists. Yeah. And let them and see what they say. Because. And it's, it's funny man. that this is Israeli groups uh, talking about it. They're like, no, this right, breaks but, our law. Right. Like, but, but again, it's the idea like they're blaming you know, the government slash Yanyahu versus the ideology and the systemic racism, basically, that has mm -hmm. stemmed from Zionism to perpetuate a lot of what's happening. Now, that's the thing that kills me. It's like, you know, and, and it kills me because we do it here. We're, we're, we're are going, we have been doing it and we will probably will continue to do it assuming Trump is reelected, you know, and all the issues are going to be blamed on Trump and not necessarily the, is the system in which fed Trump to begin with. Yeah. So God forbid that we can't blame Zionism as a cause of all of that. Um, but yeah, you're right. This is worse. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and but I'm surprised this has not been. I mean, I'm surprised. Not shouldn't be, but I'm surprised this is not a bigger story as it is because you know it brings up the idea of again, this is why Hamas is basically like putting their feet in the sand and basically being like, release these prisoners here or no deal. Um, um, I'll add, I'll add this to it. Cause you know, this is along those blame the blame DB lines, right? Where, uh, feet. I want, I want to highlight something key. Well, Netanyahu is a soulless fool. Behind him are 30 more Netanyahu's, and worse, if you can imagine it, he'll be right. replaced by another equally abhorrent Zionist. But the problem is, the entire of Israel, the majority of people who fully support what's being done to Gaza and Palestinians, apartheid and fascism, cannot be voted out. The only way to defeat this is uniting and fighting against it. So, yeah. Couldn't agree more. Um, so, and it's why we're demonetized, so, if you want to get around that system and support us, go to codexb.com slash network, scan the QR code on your screen, or put exclamation mark donate in the live chat, and you can get access to put your own little super chat, since YouTube doesn't like us having those anymore. If you can't give monetarily, you can always just like and subscribe, sharing, commenting, you know the drill by now. All those things are probably lighting up anyway, so go do those things. You know where they're at. Check right down below. You know? Try to try to get us to 2K. See, see, see how close we're getting. 